Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And yesterday I did a video on uh, using object to path. And somebody watched that video and they said, could you do it on a circle? Well, sure. A couple things we need to do. I drew an ellipse at 30 by 30, but then I converted it to a curve. And the reason for that, so I could open up my Windows, Docker's properties and click on this line right here. And you can see it's 94.261 inches, which is right here. Then I took my bricks and put them together and then put a space uh, about equal of the mortar and I measured it. And that space is 1.6 inches. So I did 94.261 divided by 1.6 is 59. For some reason in this event, you have to double it to make it 118. So we need 118 bricks. So same thing as yesterday, we're going to go and open up the Docker. No, well, it actually is a Docker object to path. You can get to it from going to object. And we're going to select that first brick, select the second brick, and then select our path. And we're going to put in those 118 and use the top origin. And if you look, it spaced them out equally and about the same amount of space between the bricks and the next set of bricks. I'm hoping one of my mathematical friends on the internet will tell me why I had to double it to get at that. But what this does, it saves you a lot of time instead of just guessing what it is. Let's say if I'd guess it was 50 and then I hit apply and it's not near enough. And then you go, what? Well, close. Let's go a hundred. And it's close, but it's not, you can see there's a bigger space. And then that's where the 118 comes into fact and it makes it perfect. So you can do it with math. So any path can be done. As you can see, I did this one at first of the video yesterday, and then I added two paths and joined them together. So it, yes, it can be done. And that's a pretty cool effect. And also just like we did yesterday, let's take this a little further. Let's uh, select it all, go up to object and, well, let's see if we can't just grab that red like we did yesterday. Let's set our nudge factor on like two inches. Let's take this brick and move it out of the way and then take that and let's hold down the shift key and make it just a little bit smaller. Now we can move this one back and let's take that red holding down or control D to make a duplicate and then holding down the shift key to make it grow from the center about the same distance it is. And then we can take the smart fill tool and fill in that gap and it will make the mortar black, make it a totally different look. Pretty cool design. Even if you didn't want to do bricks, you know, if you, you could, that would engrave and, and do pretty good. Make it really neat, something to put a, you know, another item inside. But anyway, I hope that answered his question, and thank you for watching.